All right. Uh, what's on the bench today? It is an ICOM radio, an oldie. It is an ICX2A. Uh, I found this at a flea market, and the guy gave it to me for free. So free, free, free. So let's see if I uh, uh, got anything worthwhile or not. Um, it is a dual band radio. It has uh, two sections. It has a, a, a 440 megahertz section and a 1.2 gigahertz section. So 23 centimeters. So I don't have I've never I've never owned a radio that's a 23 centimeters. So that'll be cool. Old school. It's got a banana jack for the uh, for the output. No no uh, uh, battery. Uh, so uh, let's see if we can make it work. I think it's one watt at 1.2 gigahertz. Uh, not a lot of power, but it's pretty high in frequency. So these have a slide on connector here to the battery and I think one is just some type of earth ground or something but I think we can just kind of clip onto these spring spring contacts here yeah one's marked minus and one's marked plus so let's do that let me turn my power supply on now these were nickel metal hydride batteries old school and they were 7.2 volts so we will uh, use our 7.2 volts. Um, okay, and we will turn on the power. And uh, let's come down to look at the radio. And look at that. The radio is alive. Woohoo! Look at that. Wow. Free, 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 too. Amazing. The guy was moving out of town and he was just kind of clearing out stuff. I wonder if the power button works. Oh, yeah, power button works. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, lots of buttons. I'll figure out what it is. 400 and, 400 and 440. Oh, I see main. That changes main from 400 megahertz to 1.2 gigahertz. Uh, this changes from memory to VCO. All the standard stuff. Uh, like I said, I used to have the W2A, which was a 2 meter radio and 440. This one is special. Um, so, I don't have an antenna for it, but I do have test equipment. <laughs> I got too much test equipment. So let's see if we can't uh, transmit to it, okay? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's get that set up. All right, that will be my transmitter. Let's turn him on. <laughs> That's one of my newest acquisitions, and I'm getting a lot of use out of it. Um, and it goes up to... Uh, Two gigahertz so that'll be good so what we need some antennas so I'm gonna be using a, uh, a a test lead as an antenna and we'll put an antenna on the uh, radio so let me get another get another clip lead that'll be our other antenna all right and I will set the radio right here let's see that's gonna fall let me put it right here uh, no, I need a good spot for it. I need a good spot for it. Let me clear, clear out some things here. I'll put it right down here. Can you see that? Probably not. There we go. All right. Yeah, the radio's down here. All right. So let's go to whatever frequency they have it set to, 1295. Let's do uh, 1295 megahertz. Let's turn on some FM modulation. Modulation is on. Let's turn the RF on. And I think we are transmitting. Oh, it looks like a. Oh, there we go. Didn't have the volume up. So I'm getting a full bar here on the radio. And one kilohertz. 400 hertz. Those are both built in. And then I think you can type in your own. 500. 500 what? 500 something or others. 500. I don't know. 500. I don't remember how to set those now. Anyway, you can set your own. 
you can set your own uh, 500 FM FM you did it down here 500 you have to hit a button and I'm not sure which button you hit External? No. I don't remember how to do it. Anyway, it does seem to be working. And uh, no, modulation on and off. Okay, let's see if the 440 works. Uh, amplitude 440, no, no, amplitude. How do we time it out? Let's get rid of that. Okay. Frequency 440 megahertz. Megahertz. Ooh, I heard something. Okay. Modulation. Ah. We're not modulating. Why isn't this one working? I'm getting full bars over here. Hmm. FM? Hmm. Oh! Didn't have the volume up again. Being an idiot. Because it's a dual bander, you can have received both at the same time and I was listening to the static of the 1.2 and I didn't realize the uh, 440 was operating. Yeah, so radio is fully functional. Um, let's see if I can't transmit with it. Alright, so I'm going to transmit and 440 megahertz at 0.7 watts. That looks pretty good. Um, this thing only goes up to a gigahertz though, so I can't test the I can't test the 1.2 gigahertz on this, but I have another machine we can test it on. So yeah, let's let's do that. We could we could also te test the um, receive uh, frequency generator 440 megahertz. Uh, oh, I hear it. There we go. And we can go here to the frequency. Okay, so that works. Okay. Radio seems fine. Let's test the output power of the 1.2 gig. Okay, we're transmitting at 440. Let's go ahead and transmit there. Uh, minus 1 dBm. Alright, let's go to watts. Um, and 30 dB is a factor of 100. So this is milliwatts, uh, 700 milliwatts. Okay, fine. And then if we go to the, um, there we go, uh, 600, 600 uh, milliwatts out of the 1. 1.295. So everything is working good. If you're wondering what I was doing, I have it hooked up like this. The sensor, which is blows up at plus 20 dBm, so I have a 30 dB pad in it, and then uh, we're going through that away. All right. Thanks, but uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, you can power this thing just directly. There's a um, a connector here. Connector says. Uh, DC 12.5 gigahertz, uh, 12 gigahertz, I've got gigahertz stuck in my mind, 12.5 uh, volts. And I guess it regulates it inside, so maybe I'll just run it that way and, and not buy a battery for it. I, did, I, don't, I don't need a battery. Or I don't need a handheld, I should say. Um, but yeah, fun little radio. And uh, maybe I'll do a DIY antenna, that might be a good video as well. I'll build a, a 1.2 gigahertz antenna for this thing. And uh, we'll get to use the VNA and stuff for that. But uh, yeah, pretty nice toy for free. Uh, yeah, I've never, never 
transmitted on uh, 1.2 gigahertz, so I'll have to find a repeater or something. All right, there you go.